EA Sports, and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the Sonoran Desert and always entertaining TPC Scottsdale, it's live second round coverage of the WM Phoenix Open. It is known as the greatest show on grass, and it has lived up to that moniker through the first couple of rounds as we take a look at the Friday leaderboard. Our leader on this Friday is our featured golfer. She's got a commanding lead on the rest of the field, as she has been sensational so far. Yeah, that's a beauty there to get this second round underway. Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. Rich, great tee shot to start the day. Now looking at an approach shot with no penalty areas and no bunkers around this green, so all you're taking a look at is that hole location. Okay, that's acceptable there. A look here at birdie. And this is one where you just gotta keep the hand steady and the wrist quiet making sure you get it started online. That, that was low from the start. Safe for him. It's a par here at first. And she's gonna hold tight at 15 under. On to the second, a 442-yard par for longer hitters can try and take advantage of the downslope 285 yards off the tee, but that brings those two deep fairway bunkers on the right into play. Fairway here, and that is right where you want to be. A little long, as we can see, and a little to the right, but uh, still makeable if you hit a good one. Now, that's going to wander off to the right and leave maybe two, three feet coming back. That one finished off. It's in for par. And her score is going to stay right where it is. Now on to the third, first par five on the course here at TPC Scottsdale. Yeah, the length of the hole hasn't really changed. Uh, used to be two fairway bunkers down the left. Now there's only one. Still a hazard that runs down the right side. A strategic hole if you can't make this par five and two in a brand new green that has been completely changed. Huge tee shot on this par five, and it really opens up the hole. PGA Tour moves back to California next week. We'll be at Hogan's Alley in Riviera Country Club, just west of Los Angeles for the Genesis Invitational. Frank, we go from hysteria to history. Oh, you do, yeah. Humphrey Bogart's tree on the left side of the 12th hole. Um, still there, and it's still a feature. A huge sycamore tree there that kicks the odd ball away from the green. Uh, it's good. The whole golf course is in a, in, a, in a sort of a bowl, so you get these swirling wings. I know they've tried to uh, renovate the golf course over the last few years. It's actually made the fairways a little wider, but another straight-up test. And in the West Coast swing, you really have to bring your game. It's not the most famous par three at TPC Scottsdale, is it? But it is the first, the fourth hole at 183 yards, just a bit uphill with an elevated green. It is well guarded by bunkers. Okay, not taking any chances there. A good, safe play in the middle portion of the green. 
Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot of break in this overall. Distance very important. It might be one of those putts. Hit it far and take a break out altogether. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And that will move her score to 18 under par. Frank, this is a demanding driving hole, the par 4 fifth. Another hole that bends gently to the left. There used to be two bunkers down the right side. It's now one, and it's in the perfect position to make you think about your tee shot. Really, you have to be left of that. The new tee's added a little bit of yardage to it. The green still looks the same as what it once was. Tilt slightly from left to right. But you can see why a draw, a draw is the preferred shot at TPC Scottsdale. I've seen some long tee shots, but it's the advantage to tee that ball up. Get it up there quickly, get the wind behind you. It's amazing how far you can hit it. It was a good shot coming in here. I know it's a little long, but still inside that 10 foot circle is always good and even money really to make birdie. Yes, a good read. It's a birdie here at five. And she'll move now to 19 under. Now to the par four or six. Decision time, Frank. Driver, or do you go with three wood? A lot of that's going to depend on if there's any breeze. If the breeze is at your back, you can drive it all the way down the right side and take those two bunkers down the right completely out of play. This hole's been stiffened up, though. The length hasn't increased, but that bunkering in that choke point. So the strategy. Do you have the length to get past them? Or if you have to lay up, it's going to leave a much longer second shot. A good swing and a good result, as that is safely into the fairway. Second shot coming up, just 97 yards left to the flag stick. Leading is one thing, but hitting iron shots like that, that lead is going to increase. A four-footer here for birdie. Okay, nicely played. That's in for birdie here at six. And she'll move to an even 20 under par. Arriving here at the longest of the par threes at TPC Scottsdale, the 215-yard seventh. The screen features a false front, so you don't want to be short, especially left, where a big bunker guards the putting surface. Touch there. Beautifully done. Chance now for another birdie. Now, oh, yes, runs that one right in. It's a birdie here at the seventh. And she'll move it to 21 under for the tournament. Frank the par four eighth. This is a good hole. It is uh, a dog leg to the left. Forces the player to go at the right, and uh, this will play every inch of its yardage, which is over 470 yards. Green's still pretty much the same with that false front. Um, unless there's a uh, flag position in the front, you're really going to have to fly it at least 20 yards or so into that green. Otherwise, that ball is going to run towards the front. Yeah, why not? Another great tee shot. Maybe a chance now to go after what would be a fifth consecutive birdie. Perfect spot to play this second, middle of the fairway. And that's a good approach shot, too. Just a little left of the hole, but a good chance for Birdie. This is a 13-footer. Oh. 
There's another one. It's five birdies in a row. And she'll get it to 22 under par. Well, the key here at the par four ninth as you close out this front side with the 453 yard hole is to keep it away from those two bunkers down the right hand side. If you do that, then you have a pretty clear approach shot. Keep in mind, there is a ridge that sort of bisects the middle of this green. Now, it's in the first cut. There's always a little bit more grass around the ball that has to be factored in. Second shot now from just a foot or two off the fairway. This one's looking good. Oh, I love it when the ball's hit the right distance. Just a little bit to the right. Inside 10 feet, but bang on for distance. Yep, that's nicely done. It's a birdie here tonight. How about the final accounting of this first side? It's a 27, eight under par. This 10th hole is really all about strategy and good decision making. It's a hard dog leg to the right and you have a couple of options. You can cut the corner with a driver, uh, but then you're contending with a small bunker and some trees if you miss hit it. Or you can go with a fairway wood, but if you're offline, well then you bring the bunkers on both sides into play. This one starting a hair right. That had to be in the rough. The whole way. One more bounce back on the fairway. Okay, sensible play right there, and that one on deck. Now this for another birdie. Yes! Seven birdies in a row now. And her score will move to 24 under par. Heading now to what most consider the most challenging and intimidating hole at TPC Scottsdale, the 472-yard par 411. Water protecting the entire left side of the hole, so both distance and precision are required. A drive down the right side is ideal. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Great tee shot here at the 11th. Now has a chance to go at the whole location on the left half of the green, but have to be concerned about the water that wraps around the backside. And that one gonna be okay, although it does finish just off the green. that time pretty good effort but it'll wander a couple of feet by so that rushed in for par here at 11 and she'll stay at minus 24 for the tournament well 16 at tpc scottsdale is the most famous but maybe the most beautiful par three of the golf course is right here the 12th with that peninsula green and water all down the right side and the two deep bunkers protecting the left this is an excellent par three You know, in this game, you don't just hit the shot. You have to see the shot. And that's a really good example right there. Excellent. Oh, 
Okay, that'll help the cause. It's a birdie here at number 12. And she'll move to 25 under now. This is where the excitement really kicks in at TPC Scottsdale. The 13th hole is a par five at 558 yards. It is a wonderful driving hole. There's water, there's desert on the right. You have the mesquite trees and a big bunker on the left. If you can drive the ball straight here, keep it out of that trouble, well then you absolutely have a chance to get home in two and maybe make an eagle. Yeah, that's going to be into that desert zone in between the 6th and 13th. Safely back into the fairway. That was the job at hand, and it's a good end result. Chance now for another birdie. Nicely done. Two straight birdies here early on this backside. That will move her to 26 under par. So after the fun at the par 5 13th, you have to knuckle down here at the par 4 14th. It is 490 yards, and par is an excellent score here on this hole. A strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. It was a good shot coming in here. I know it's a little long, but still, inside that 10-foot circle is always good and even money, really, to make birdie. Ah, that's how you play this 14 pole. That's in for birdie. And she'll move now to 27 under par for the tournament. Great scoring opportunity here at the par 5 15th, but Frank, I'm wondering... As a player, is your mind beginning to think about what's ahead at that part three sixteenth hole? Oh, they are. This this is really the uh, finishing stretch at TPC uh, Scottsdale, where you get all these swing holes. Fifteen is a swing hole. Sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen, where so many changes in the score can actually happen. But this one here is all about finding the fairway. A good drive down here will be well rewarded because you'll have a chance to reach this par five and two. Good shot, that is home and two on the par five. Remember, made Eagle earlier in the round, Frank. That may be a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double Eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. That one just gonna sneak on by. And that one finished off. It's a birdie here at 15. And that'll take her now to 28 under par. 
Well, here we are at the 16th hole, looking at just over 160 yards. Doesn't seem all that daunting, Frank. But 160 yards with 20,000 people horned into a little stadium in the desert, that makes it a different story. It certainly is. This was one hole, too, where Tom Watson would send his caddy forward. He would stay back by 15. His caddy would get his yardage. Watson would simply walk on the tee. His caddy would give him the club. He would not go through his normal routine. He would simply just head away. It was one hole that he never wanted to think about. It might look simple, but it's what the player feels. Yeah, pretty safe there. That won't get this crowd into a frenzy, but it is safely on deck. Now this for another birdie. A great deal of success on the greens thus far, but this one's going to be a challenge. Oh, straight into the cup. Well done. That's a birdie here at 16. That is going to move her to a tidy 29 under par. Well, these short, drivable par fours are all the rage in golf, but the designers here at TPC Scottsdale, Jay Morris and Tom Weisskopf, were really ahead of the curve. This was one of the first, and it still remains one of the best. Short par fours in the game, all about risk and reward. Well, that's on a pretty good line so far. This tee shot on the green here at 17. Ah, oh, yes, a great cut there coming. Monster drive, and it's an eagle two here at the par four. We finish our day here at TPC Scottsdale with a 442 yard par four 18. Strategy off the tee is key. Challenge the lake on the left and cut the corner of the church pew bunkers or play it safely down the right side of the fairway. Looking for a strong finishing pick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. Perfect spot to play this second, middle of the fairway. Just a little left of the hole, but a good chance for Buddy. 13 feet away. Yeah, it's a birdie at the last. And this will wind up being an astonishing 54. So another look at the leaderboard, and you'll almost do a double take, Frank, our featured golfer with a commanding lead through 36 holes. So far, it's just been uh, just a clinic again. I know I use that word a lot, Rich, but it, it looks like two different two different players, one at the top and, well, the, the chasers. Different league. So for Frank Nabilo, Nota Begay the third, and Iona Steven, I'm Rich Lerner. We'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour Golf.